everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Kyla and my channel is just a plethora of all things that I love. But today we are back in the world of American Girl and we are going to be welcoming my 41st and 42nd dolls. Now a little bit of a backstory but I don't want to take up too much of your time. I was supposed to go to the American Girl place um, the closest one to me. I'm not going to say where that is, obviously, but I was supposed to go there and that ended up falling through. So I decided that I would just go ahead and make the big purchase that I had been saving for online. And then the package had some crazy, crazy tracking. It said it would be here on the 29th and then the 30th and then it was like it'll be here on the third and today is the second so it arrived I was like freaking out but it is here so um as you can see I have a bunch of the girlies in their usual spot some of them you guys probably haven't seen in a while so they do say hello but in here we have a girl of the year and a historical and if you follow me on my doll instagram at kyla collects ag you may already know who these girlies are but if you don't, or you just want to see them, go ahead and stick around. Before we get started, I actually have them facing each other. I closed my eyes. I have no idea who is in what box, but we have the usual little card that you are currently getting if you purchase anything from AG, and it talks about the doll hospital, and then this is the back. Also, I thought this was really cute. So we have Kira here and it says how you can help the earth and it has the cutest illustration of Kira and the koala. And then if you open it up, I'm sure if you bought Kira or you have purchased anything from AG, that is what that looks like. So this is really cute. I could probably cut out this cover and then put it in my doll room once I move. But anywho, like I said, one historical, one gaudy. Um, when I pull them out, I will tell you a little bit more about why I bought who I did. So the first doll that I bought is Kira. So Miss Kira Bailey is the girl of the year for 2021. And basically my story behind her is that she is definitely the, um, she fits my collecting mold pretty, pretty well with her blonde hair, um, her pink and purpley collection. She's super girly, like just her collection anyway. Her love of animals. She goes to Australia, and I'm a big fan of Australia. And Kira happens to be from Michigan, like myself. So when Kira's pictures leaked back in December, I was like, I gotta get her. I have to get her. She's literally perfection. So I was planning to get her when I went to the AG place, but... Like I said, that fell through. So I was like, I'm just going to order Kira online because I can't take it anymore. I've been staring at her for, it would be eight weeks now. And I just, I've had her name picked out ever since before she was released. So um, I will be changing her name, but I'm going to take her out of the box because I can't freaking believe that she's here. So we have her book, just like with any other doll, and this is my absolute favorite illustration. I love it. They are doing the more cartoony theme, as I've said in a couple previous videos, like Luciana and Joss and Blair, but this is my favorite one that I've seen. I absolutely adore it. Okay, guys, so here's Miss Kira out of box. Hairnet is still on. Don't worry. We're going to be taking that out after we unbox the other doll because I'm going to be switching camera angles. But here she is. Here's her adorable little meat outfit. These freaking shoes, you guys. They are the cutest things. And the little socks. And so these are shorts. I know in the beginning, everybody thought it was a skirt, but no, they're shorts. And this cute little top. I don't know how I feel about the top and the shorts together, but I think it's a cute outfit. So um, I didn't notice any flaws yet. Fingers crossed there will not be any, but this is Kira, and I am so excited to take off this hairnet. It's literally my favorite part. The next doll I got is honestly a big shocker for myself and probably those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or know my collection really well. This is a doll that I have actually never seen in person except behind glass. <laughs> Last time I went to the AG place, she is very, very special and unique, and she is definitely a staple in the American Girl Company history, and I've never actually had her in my collection before, so this is pretty exciting. Welcome Miss Addie Walker. Now, I know I just told you guys I have not seen Miss Addie in person, and that's technically true. I've never seen a Be Forever Addie in person. Now, if you follow me really closely, you know that Pleasant Company, Samantha and Addie were the first American Girl dolls I ever had contact with, and they belonged to my second cousin. So, Miss Addie here has been on my radar 
recently. And thank you to Koa Linlife for basically um, fueling this Addie obsession. And she got Addie and she's like, you need to get Addie. So I knew when I got Kira, I was going to get Kira and another doll. It was either going to be Addie or a truly me. And I caved and bought Addie. So now the only face mold I'm missing in the Kesu's doll collection is just like you number four. So here she is out of box. I am obsessed with her mean outfit. I do prefer her Be Forever mean outfit over her original one, which may surprise you all because it's blue, but I love this dress so much. I love the little boots. Oh my god, these are so cute. She is in like absolute perfect condition. I have not taken out her hairnet though because we're going to do that in a second, but this hairstyle, you guys, I want to take out Addie's hair so bad. I just don't know when I'm going to do it because it is really big and poofy and I'm so excited to mess with that and see it because I don't actually have a doll with textured hair so Addie is going to be so much fun to try and do a bunch of different hairstyles with but I'm obsessed with this hairstyle. I think she's absolutely stunning. She comes with these little earrings. She's so freaking beautiful. You guys, I can't remember the last time I was this excited to open a doll. I mean, I have gotten a few dolls you know, quite recently, but for some reason just, it was Eddie and Kira are coming, Eddie and Kira, and it was just like, oh my gosh, and they are going to be besties because I did get them at the same time, so you guys know um, when I do get dolls at the same time, they automatically become besties, so I'm going to switch camera angles, and we're going to take out their hair nets. All right, so here we are in front of the closet. This lighting does not even do Eddie justice. I, oh my gosh, I love her so much. She is absolutely exquisite, so... I'm going to remove the hairnet. My tripod is actually too tall, so I have to hold the camera. So if it is shaky, I do apologize, but um, I'm going to try and remove this with one hand without messing it up. Oh my goodness, hold on. You guys, there is so much hair. I'm obsessed with her. She has so much hair. Her bun is so thick. Oh my goodness. I'm going to turn her around. Oh my goodness. Okay. This hairstyle is incredible. And I love the ribbons. You guys. I've had this doll for like maybe five minutes. And I'm going to 1 million out of 10 recommend. I don't know why I held off on getting her for so long because if you don't know, I only collected historicals as a kid and I never got around to getting Addie because they just kept coming out with, you know, more best friend dolls and stuff. And we didn't really get her for me because me, as a kid who loved to play with the doll's hair, my Kirsten and Elizabeth can attest to this, I probably would have balded the poor Addie because I loved to brush their hair. So I'm very glad I held off on getting her, honestly, because now I can have a perfect condition Addie Walker and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I will be changing her name. I'm just going to sh um, make it a little bit longer. Basically, we're probably still going to call her Addie, but um, she's going to get a little bit of a name change, but I don't want to do anything too, too drastic. But I will reveal that maybe at the end of this video if I've 100% decided on their names. But we're going to move on to Kira. So here's Miss Kira, and I'm still calling her that right now only because I haven't told you guys what we're changing her name to. But here she is, and I've heard some things, as I just talked about with Addie, hair is like a big selling point for me when it comes to buying a doll. So, um, I've heard some stuff about Miss Kira's hair. I'm going to see for myself how it is. Hopefully, it is okay. But um, I probably should have opened or taken off Kira's hairnet first because I don't think anything can compete with the gorgeous Addie. But anyway, we're going to take off Miss Kira's hairnet. This is the most satisfying part. Oh my god, it is so soft. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. Hold the phone. It is extremely soft. I am so impressed with that right now. I'm going to turn her around. Um, this hairstyle, oopsie, this hairstyle is very, very interesting. It probably will be coming out just because I do take out their meat hairstyles, um, 
only because, like I said, I love playing with their hair. So I'm going to have to run my fingers through this because it's a little bit crazy only because it has been in the net for who knows how long. But I was not expecting it to be. Now it's not super thick, but it is definitely thicker than what I thought it was going to be. Um, after watching a couple people's reviews and everything, I, um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely was not this. I love her, you guys. She is so, so cute. A couple people have said that she does look like me. Now, um, she kind of does, but I am more of a classic mold, and obviously Miss Kira has Josefina, and I have blue eyes instead of green, but we do have quite a bit of similarities. <laughs> Here are the two queens together. Kira is number 41 because I had her in my cart first, and then Addie is number 42. So I have their first and last names picked out. I do not currently have middle names for them, but we're going to do Addie first because it's nothing drastic. Her name is going to be Adeline Walker. Now, I know that Addie is actually her nickname and her real name is a duke, which I think is extremely beautiful and exquisite, but I think Adeline, it just fits like my collection better, so I am changing her name to Adeline Walker. I don't know what her middle name is going to be. I will put it up on the screen if I've decided by the time this video goes up. And as for Miss Kira, like I told you guys in the beginning, Kira's name has been picked out since before I even bought her or was planning on buying her. I'm like, if I were to ever get that doll, her name would be this. So a lot of people say she looks like a bunch of different dolls combined, and I totally agree. One doll I've seen not as much because a lot of people say, oh, she looks like Isabel or Blair or Leah or a whole bunch of other dolls. I have not seen her compared to 83 too, too much. Now, if you know me, you know I have 83 and that is my Sienna. And Sienna is one of my favorite dolls in my entire collection. Extremely underrated. If you don't have 83, go get 83. But her name is Sienna. And I've decided to make Kira and Sienna fraternal twins. So, with that being said, I would like you all to meet Vienna West. So I have Sienna and Vienna, and I don't know what her middle name is going to be, but Sienna and Vienna, I've never done doll, like, twins. They're my first twins. I'm so excited to have them as twins. I will be doing tons of twinsy photo shoots with them. It's going to be really fun, but I am so extremely excited and blessed to have been able to purchase these two, and I'm very, very happy with them. I have not noticed any issues, but I haven't inspected them thoroughly yet. I will be letting you guys know on Instagram if there's any, like, factory errors or anything like that, but as of right now, I don't see any. So, one more thing before I do my usual outro. This is not in any way, shape, or form trying to brag. Like I said, I'm extremely blessed and grateful and fortunate to have been able to purchase these girlies. Let me know in the comments down below what their middle names should be. Remember, we have Vienna West and Adeline Walker, so I need middle names for them. Vienna's, I would like to start with an A. I'm not quite sure about Adeline. You can just throw whatever the heck you want to out there, but Vienna West and Adeline Walker. If you have not already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.